Welcome back to the Jones Zone, and today we're going to be getting into magic in video games. So the question would be, if you're a Christian, is it okay to play video games that have magic in them, and is it harmful? Well, I'm going to give you the short answer and just say yes and no. Okay, so the first game that comes to mind is Hogwarts Legacy. This game is heavily based on the old western form of witchcraft. Characters attend Hogwarts, uh, the school for witches and wizards. They wear dark robes, they wear these uh, witch hats, and they're taught to use wands, which are a smaller version of a cane. Okay, all of which are based on the old Celtic pagan traditions. And so, in a way, these things make for a realistic imitation of witchcraft. Now, granted, these games are not real big on ceremonial magic and the raising of altars and such. However, uh, the wizards, the initiates... They still point their wands at people, and they use words to cast spells, many of which are destructive in nature. As you can see here, I have a list of spells and their respective wand gestures required to use them. Look at all these spells and the words which I'm not even going to repeat because I have no idea what they mean. Uh, the stuff that these magicians are saying could be literally inspired by demons. Like, the author of Harry Potter might think she's making up gibberish, but in reality, these things could be influenced by demonic spirits. Now, it would be a different story if demons weren't real, but that's not the case. If you're a Christian, you definitely don't want to play Hogwarts Legacy, because I can only imagine the legion of demonic spirits taking up residence at those studios and influencing the content they want suited for the Kingdom of Darkness in the final production. Now, I could see you being able to play this if, let's say, they had something like a warrior or a cleric, which is a priest who can call upon the power of God or a good God. But they don't even have that option. In this game, you can only be a witch or a wizard, and these things are evil in the eyes of the Lord. For this same reason, I wouldn't play Diablo 4, which is the next game on my list. A game that has only five classes. You can play as a barbarian, a druid, necromancer, a sorceress, and a rogue. All of these classes are lawless having no allegiance to anything good. At least in Diablo 3, they had the Crusader as an option. The Crusader is a holy warrior which gave Christians a little bit of leeway to playing this game. But in Diablo 4, the developers make you fight evil with evil, and that's not good. As Christians, we don't want to develop a mindset where we think we can battle darkness with darkness. To beat darkness, you must use the light. The light of men, the Lord. Okay, now, what about the magic in games that are more Eastern, like the Final Fantasies and the Kingdom Hearts? In my humble opinion, the magic in these games are more bearable, and the worlds themselves are more based on a completely made-up fantasy world, which has no semblance to anything in the real world. And magic seems to be a force, rather, in these uh, fictional universes, and it's accessible to not only the magic classes, but even the warrior classes, too. Everyone can learn and use it, and when they do apply it, they either say nothing or they use a phrase that you can understand. Like, cure, fire, thunder, blizzard, water. Okay? There's no sigils or incantations or anything like that which pertain to the occult. Uh, most of the time, the characters will just aim their weapon and apply the spell. Uh, now, here's the most wholesome part about these games. There's no blood in these games. And the story narrative places a lot of emphasis on the battle between good and evil, and it's pretty clear-cut. In Final Fantasy, you have fiends, and in Kingdom Hearts, you have these dark beings called Heartless. And I think this is something which makes the games playable to a wider variety of audiences, including Christians. Okay, now, for all you Christians who are feeling judgmental toward people who are playing video games, think about your football games, where... You, uh, where grown men are wearing tights and are piling on top of one another, often to the point to where somebody gets injured. Okay, that is a violent form of content that you are viewing, all for your entertainment. So I'd admonish you to think twice before you start feeling self-righteous, wanting to judge somebody and get to rebuking people in the comment section. Okay, guys, so it's very important to remember that you should put God first and do whatever he requires of you, and if you have a little bit of time left over, then you can do some gaming. That's all I have for you today. Happy gaming and stay blessed.